today. It's Champagne Jane here. I'm your secret agent for champagne shopping. Today we're at Kemeny's, one of Australia's largest independent retailers, and I'd like to take you inside to see what they've got on the shelves and find out what the champagne bargains of the week are. Follow me. Okay, so here we are over at the champagne fridges. As you can see, there's three of them. These guys sell a lot of sparkling and champagne. Now the first thing, come with me, the first thing that jumps out at me in the fridge this week, look down here. Can you see this? Veuve Clicquot Vintage 2002, $99. That's an absolute bargain. 2002 is one of the best recent vintages in champagne. And for, uh, the example from Veuve Clicquot is just fabulously rich and complex and oh, fa fantastic with food. The other thing they've got here, still talking about Veuve Clicquot, which is the second largest selling champagne brand in Australia, is the Veuve Clicquot fridge. Now I saw this in London Heathrow duty free in July and Veuve Clicquot have always been really good at doing fabulous gadgets that go with the champagne. You know, kind of like the... Um, the, 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 the travel case with the glasses and everything else. So both of these are actually really good uh, offices. Sixty nine ninety nine for the Veuve Clicquot in the fridge, make it a nice little uh, birthday present, or ninety nine dollars for the Veuve Clicquot two thousand two. Now coming up here, we've got some um, champagnes that aren't quite as well known. The Tattinger at sixty nine ninety nine. That's actually really good value. And here we've got a smaller producer, but a very old champagne producer, Besseret de Belfond. Um, fabulous range of wines and here you've got a rosé and then you've got a blonde de blanc so it's a champagne made purely from Chardonnay. So pretty good value here. Um, coming across into the prestige style of champagne, the Pérou de Belle Époque, stunning, very subtle and refined style, really, really um, exceptional wine, full of uh, delicacy and, 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 and finesse, $195. And up again to the Paul Roger, Winston Churchill is Paul Rogers. Um, uh, Cuvée de Prestige, $199, and I have to say, $299 for the Louis Roderer Cristal 2002. That's pretty good value as well. Now, if we move along to the sparkling fridges, great example still in the Moët et Chandon group, Pelours, um, the sparkling wine from Cloudy Bay in New Zealand in Marlborough, $29 for the non-vintage, $39.95 for the vintage. Fantastic, very complex champagne like flavoured wine. Aris, of course, um, which is probably the flagship of sparkling wine in Australia. This wine comes from Tasmania. It's made by Ed Carr. It tastes as good as champagne, often beats champagne actually in blind tastings. Look on the website www.champagnejane.com. See this great little video from Channel 9 of Combe Fair where we, they did blind tastings of sparkling wines and champagnes. And the brand manager from Dom Perignon so loved the Aris, he thought back with champagne and the Veuve Clicquot was a sparkling wine so this is a if you want to drink local aris is definitely the way to go now there's a champagne for every moment but we can't always in our budget necessarily afford to quite have champagne there's some fabulous made sparkling wines here in australia and some great examples in fridge number three over here so we have the Sepult Salinger, this is made um, primarily with Victorian fruit, cool and crisp, it's a vintage style, um, and that one's uh, this 2005 vintage, which would be the current vintage release for most sparkling wines, uh, $24.99, fantastic, um, quite complex, a big jump in difference, a lot of people I know drink Grant Burge, which is from uh, South Australia, now this is a well made wine, it's $21.99, for the extra $3 I think Salinger is actually uh, uh, an another step up. Now, if you're looking for kind of like, you know, um, uh, a young person's birthday party or just a cocktail party or a, a barbecue on the beach, and you're looking more, it's not that you don't want quality, but you need quantity as well, then I'd recommend the Taltani Brut Taché. This is the 2008 vintage that's been just released, be very fresh, very strawberries and cream, probably a little bit sweet on the finish, um, but great as a, barb as a barbecue bubbly, and it's $19.99, so it's $20, so you could get three of those um, instead of one bottle of champagne. That's what I think is probably here at um, Kemeny's. This is probably the, the, the bargains of the week from this shop. And we've got to decide on the champagne bargain of the week. And as I mentioned, I love the Veuve Clicquot in the fridge. I love the 2002 at $100. But champagne is something to be shared with friends. And the best way to buy a bottle of champagne is actually to buy it in Magnum. So the bargain we've decided on this week, come with me, is here. See these bottles up here? We're actually going to choose, <laughs> we're going for, and I'm going to throw this to you here, Vessa de Belfond. Now this is a small producer uh, founded in the Epene region in 1843. It was purchased by the large group Pernod Ricard, the own Champagne Moum and Perrier Jouet. Now it's part of the group that produced L'Anson. Um, but it's a boutique style producer 
A magnum means that the champagne ages more slowly, so it develops a richer palette and aromas. So if there's more than two of you, you're always going to have a magnum. So my, our recommendation this week from Kemenis and Bondi is the Bessar de Belfort in magnum, $100. Come on down, guys. We're going to try it very soon.